hey you guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be doing yet another haul and i know i just filmed my ulta haul but i did do some lurking around at sephora and i did do some shopping at um i'm gonna say elf really <laughs> ulta and walgreens i did get a few things i want to just kind of like share with you guys so if you want to see what i picked up and of course just keep watching all right, so starting off with Sephora, I do have my Smashbox. It's going to be their original photo finish smurf and blur primer, which just look like this. And you guys know right now, I'm currently using their primerizer, which I do love because it's a primer and a moisturizer in one. So I kind of figured I would give another primer of theirs a try. So I kind of figured, try this out, see how you like it, and just kind of go from there. Um, I don't have issues with large pores, but I think the whole like smoothing aspect is what pretty much caught my attention. So we're going to give this a try in the upcoming video. All right, moving on, I do have from Cover FX. It's going to be their Power Play Foundation. Um, I have it in G70, but I think this color is definitely going to be way too light for me because it's summertime and I'm getting darker. Um, but hair is just what the foundation look like. You guys have this foundation is nothing new um but i do feel like g90 might be the way for me to go um i did get a sample of g90 which is right here um but i do think that's definitely my color right now just looking at myself in the mirror i think g70 is just extremely way too light so we're just going to try both and just kind of see from there and just kind of see what happened um but I just wanted to get some new foundations because I'm getting really bored with my foundations. Right now, I'm going back and forth between my Fenty and my Kat Von D. I haven't used my drugstore once in so long because I have just been loving those two for the moment. Um, so I kind of figured why not, why not just try some newer foundations. So yeah. Um, moving on to another foundation. I have the one by Anastasia. It's going to be her stick foundations. Um, you guys know I don't typically care for stick foundations, but I kind of figured just don't knock it till you try it um so here is the packaging for hers and i have the color called amber but honestly you guys i kind of felt like looking at the shade range it didn't really have a specific color for me per se so i kind of feel like i might have to do some like mixing around to like get my perfect color um but we'll just kind of see what happens with it so i did pick that up all right, moving on to my next item is going to be, I have actually two mascaras in front of me. One of them I'm actually more excited to try, but I do have the Lancome Monsoor Mascara and I have the Milk Kush Mascara. And you guys know, everyone have been talking about the um, Milk Mascara saying it's really good. And it's honestly like the best one on the market right now. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet to actually say if it's true or not. But yes, I do have both mascaras and here they are. This one is going to be the one by Lancome. Really pretty packaging. And then I also have the Kush Mascara by Milk Cosmetics, which is right here. This has some freaking weight to it. Like it is definitely heavy. So cannot wait to try this one out. I think I'm more excited for this one versus this one. But we're going to try it out and see what happens. All right, moving on into the rest of our sephora haul i have two more makeup products and i have two skincare products um i have by dior it's going to be their lip glow color reviver balm um this one is going to be in the color called 007 raspberry and love the packaging on this i just think it's so fancy and it just screams dior let's watch it and see if there's any color payoff to it yeah, so it's like a light tint of color, as you can see. So I think it'll be really cute for like a nice just flush of color on the lips in the summertime. The next one is going to be the Dior Attic Lip Lacquer uh, Plump. And this is the color called, I cannot see it. I think it says 758. It's hard to see. It's like really tiny uh, letters and numbers. Um, but hair is the packaging for it. So really cute packaging. And then this color is so pretty. It's like a vibrant red color. And the hair it is right here. So that definitely screams summertime. All right, and moving on to my two skincare items. I have the Lancome, I think it's called Bi 
facial by facial um, but it's going to be their double action eye makeup remover um hair is the product right here i do hear good things about lancome like skincare products and you guys know i've been loving my it cosmetic makeup remover the cleansing balm but i kind of figure just so i don't waste that one up waste that one up because i do love it i wanted to just try something else so i do have this one and then by cuddly i have their venusaurs rich intense moisture rescue cream and i just love the packaging on this it looks so like i don't know just like it looks like a lip product i guess i'll just say that so here is what it looks like and you guys know i love a good moisturizer because i do have dry skin so i'm always in the market for trying out new moisturizers to kind of see which one i like which one i don't like and all that good stuff and then last but not least for sephora they had their um new bi point perks and you guys know they pretty much change those out like every month so this time around they had some really good point perks and i went ahead and cashed some of mine in because again they had some good stuff so i picked up the ysl touche eclat blur primer and i did get two because i'm stingy and i kind of figured if i like it i want to have two versus just one and you guys know ysl is super expensive so that's why i got two and here it is right here nice size amount you guys know with primers you're not going to go through your primers that fast because it's just a primer and you can always interchange between like your other primers that you have at home so i kind of feel like these two will last me for a while and then i also picked up by soul de janeiro if you guys watched my last sephora haul the one i think it was called what i typically wouldn't buy from sephora i mentioned their body scrub but i told you guys i always heard about the bum bum cream but i wasn't going to pay the money for the bum bum cream well lo and behold they had the bum bum cream as a point perk and i did get two so it was a hundred point perk and i kind of figured i need to try it out because everyone keeps talking about it so i did pick up two just to kind of see if i liked it or not and i kind of feel like i will like it so i do have two of these and then i also picked up um again the lancome mascara um just to kind of see if i like, like it or not it's right here because i can travel with it so here is the monsoor mascara by lancome which i have right here as well so now i have two but yeah so that's pretty much everything from sephora i also picked up like a few samples of like foundations and concealers that i want to try out but moving on to i guess we can go to walgreens um i only picked up some lip products from walgreens and i also picked up two foundations um which these foundations i already featured on my channel but i told you guys i had the wrong color so i went back to see if i can find my color because again it's so hard to find my color for like foundations i don't know why but it's like my skin is like a weird color in terms of like trying to find like the perfect match for me because it's almost like the brows can either go too dark or too light and i'm like i need an in between and i refuse to be buying two foundations mixing it to get my perfect color um because as you can look at my my neck and my chest i'm not i'm not that dark but i'm not that light either so it can be kind of tricky here and there but anyways I picked up the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I have it in the color called Amber. And Amber seemed like, seemed like the perfect color just looking at the bottle because you guys know Walgreens don't have testers. So I was just staring like I think this is the color because I had chestnut before. And I was just making chestnut work in the house. I was not wearing chestnut out the house because clearly if you look at my neck and my face, it was a clear line of demarcation between the two colors so it was just more so just me trying it out for like youtube purposes to say i actually tried it um but i wanted to get my color so i picked up amber and then for wet and wild if you guys watched my videos i told you guys i had the wrong shade i knew i had the wrong shade again it was just me testing it out for youtube purposes but i never wore it out the house because again it was just obvious it was the wrong color um, and I have this one in Coco. I want to say I had espresso for that one. Um, so here is Coco. So I think it's going to work. I really hope it's going to work because I do want to wear the foundations out and actually feel comfortable wearing the foundations. Um, so besides the foundations, I did get the lip colors by Wet n Wild. Two of them I got from Ulta and then two of them I got from uh, Walgreens because 
Walgreens so they have all the colors. Um, so the two that I got from Walgreens is going to be Featherless and this is called Shut the Pluck Up. This is Wet n Wild Flight of Fancy new collection. You guys, I have searched high and low calling every Walgreens trying to find this freaking collection and nobody has it out besides just one. And then they didn't have the blush so I was kind of like upset about that but it's okay because I got the color I was looking for for the lip gloss. But anyways, this is the color called Featherless. It's a really pretty, like, light, super light peachy color. And it's definitely not my kind of color, and I cannot wear it by itself. I already had it on by itself, and it looked really crazy. So I'll definitely have to be doing some, like, concoctions on my lip between either a lip liner, another lip color, just to kind of make it work for me. But I don't mind because I do enjoy mixing different lip products. Um, so here is Featherless right here on my hand. It's a really pretty color. Um, the next one is going to be Shut the Pluck Up, which is a really funny name. Um, and you guys know I just had to get this color because I know it's going to work against my skin tone really nicely. It's that really pretty like purpley color. And here it is right here. And honestly, I don't need this color because I do have this color in so many other lip products. But... I just wanted it and I bought it because it's super inexpensive. Um, but hair is that color right there. And when I did apply these to my lips, I will say this, it wasn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. Um, it comes off very sheer, so you almost have to like build the color back up. But I do still think they're really pretty colors. And again, I love Wet n Wild lip products, so I do not mind. Um, so moving on to the last place, which is Ulta. I have been going through this little funk of eyeshadow palettes where I'm like I want to try new eyeshadow palettes and what I have in my collection is really like boring to me right about now because I see it every day and I need some inspiration for some YouTube videos so I did pick up four actually three new eyeshadow palettes um so the first one is going to be by elf is the matte for matte eyeshadow palette in jewel pop when I saw this I was like oh my god it's so pretty it's definitely out my comfort zone you guys know I love a more warm like warm tone eyeshadow palette it's just my personal preference but I kind of feel like I need to just step out my comfort zone and just try different colors and just you know just like challenge myself with eyeshadow colors and just create in new different looks for my channel so I did pick this one up same black packaging as their other as their other matte for matte eyeshadow palettes and then when you look inside it is so pretty you guys here is the actual eyeshadow palette like look how vibrant and pretty these colors are and let me just swatch because i'm dying to swatch it so it feels the same as the other one and here is that orange one right so let me just watch right here that is the orange one that is so pigmented it's so pretty let's do the purple they're definitely not creamy again it's the same as the other palette they're not creamy but they're not you know they're not horrible when you swatch it they're really pigmented that's the purple now let's do this green here's the green and let's swatch that one right there so yeah, you guys, it's the Jewel Pop Eyeshadow Palette by Elf, and I just thought it was really pretty, and definitely going to play with that palette in an upcoming video. Um, next one is going to be by Makeup Revolution. I have been loving that collection. You guys know I have been loving their brand since God knows how many years ago, but I did pick up some more stuff from their collection. Um, this is going to be the Sophie X and Makeup, Makeup Revolution collab. Here is the box for it. And here is the packaging. I know this collab is pretty like old, but I didn't have it, so it's new to me. And then here is the inside of the eyeshadow palette. Really pretty colors. Cannot wait to dive into it. Um, you do have majority shimmer shades in here, and of course you have some really pretty like matte shadows as well. Um, let's just swatch this green one because it's really pretty. That's really pretty. That's that green one. It's kind of a mm, little powdery, but there it is right there. 
And then let's watch this really pretty blue one. It's really pretty. Look at that. Let's watch you right there. That's really pretty. So yeah, and you have a nice mirror on the bottom. So super excited about this purchase. And then I also have another palette and I know when you guys see this palette, you're gonna be like excited that you just bought that palette, but I'm gonna show you. It's not the same thing. So this is the new palette that I just got, which I'm so excited about. When I seen it, I was like, girl, that is your dream palette right there because you guys know I love a warm tone eyeshadow palette and it just screams my name. Like it truly screams my name and I can, if I can get it open, I can swatch it for you guys, but. All right, so here is the inside of the palette. It's so pretty, you guys. Like, argh, I cannot wait to use it. Here is a nice swatch right there for you guys. And here it is right here. Super pretty. Let's watch a matte. Actually, let's watch this orange. Here's the orange. And ooh, that's not a good swatch at all. So the orange one, ooh, looks a little weird, a little chalky, but there's the orange one right there. So yeah. Got this one, and the one I featured in my Ulta haul was this one. So I want to show you guys, they're not the same. They're definitely different. So don't be like Saida, you just got that palette. No, 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 no. Two different palettes. I know they're kind of similar, but mm -mm, they're two different palettes. So, But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. I know it's pretty much a long video, but again, I had to get some stuff for, for my channel. It's like we can, you know, film some videos, so... Hope you guys enjoy my haul. Like always, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.